Today on 3D Outdoors, Poppy and I are rounding up our 2019 metal detecting season. Stay tuned. What a strange year, I would call it. Yeah. With all the rain that we had in the spring, you know, we got out right away. We, we hit the old school ground right off the bat. Thought we'd get a jump on things and really start going. And and then the rains came. <laughs> and they came fast and furious. <laughs> yes, and they just kept going. We, we had weekends that we literally couldn't do anything. And it's not we couldn't metal detect. We couldn't do anything. And um, so it slowed us down on all fronts on the channel. And then when we finally did get good weather, we kind of went at it probably a little too much. <laughs> and and uh, recovery was needed afterwards. Um, but we uh, there were some days we were doing two, three houses in a day. And normally we just pick one and, and, and do it well and be done and then maybe go back on another weekend and hit another one. But we had to get some houses done. So we got in there and did them. And, and we ended up doing all right for the year. Um, we pulled some good coins out, set some new records. And uh, we'll jump in there and go over those. I'll grab the handheld camera here so that we can get a closer up view of some of the items here. We'll jump over here to Poppy's items. And then we, as we said last year, we did save trash, most of it. And you'll uh, see it. You'll see it. <laughs> There's a bunch. So, all right, well, we'll jump in here over on Poppy's side of the table. And uh, you want to go into your finds there? Well. Uh, a few tokens, one local token for the town that's uh, nearby we were detecting. You've seen in the video, a 1944 Winston from the Philippines. Indian heads. And, and some of these items are yet to be seen. I have some videos I have to produce yet. <laughs> so they'll be coming. So through the winter months here, you'll have a, a good selection of metal detecting videos on the way. Indian heads, I got them kind of goofy here, I guess, but. 1875 was my oldest one, that's the oldest. And that's a new record for you, right? That's a new record for the oldest Indian head I've ever found, and maybe even the oldest coin, American coin. You know, got uh, a bunch of them. Uh, good variety of those, I guess. Mm -hmm. B nickels, managed to find actually four of them. You, you were the B nickel guy yeah. this year, I tell you what. 1899, 1901, 1904, and down here, as you Maybe you have seen the video, maybe that's still coming in, I'm not sure. I found this little coin purse that had, happened to have a 1906 uh, B-nickel and a 1910 wheat penny in it. All came out of the ground together. They're a really cool combination. Yep. Somebody, to keep them together. Some little girl <laughs> lost their, their coin purse. And, and uh, barbers, only got three barbers, 1897, 1901, and a 1913. Mercury's got five, two 1919's on top are in the same hole. That video is coming. Yep, 35, 36, and a 43, and two rosies. This is this wheat pennies. Yep, good lots of good good wheat pennies. Of those. And then some other items. That some other kind of interesting stuff. This horseback cavalry guy or something, a cow, a metal, a pocket watch, guts. Bottle cap opener from Hams, I believe. Your normal spoons, junk ring. We both found a marble and <laughs> we're digging the metal. Keys, watch, some religious uh, pendants, car tractor, buttons, wrench, a couple of pocket knives. This is kind of a neat one. It's got a dog and hunting scene on it and guns. Handkerchief or kerchief slide from the Boy Scouts. Um, alive. I believe that'd be a 32 caliber center fire. And, yeah. Yeah, just a bunch of neat that. stuff. And we'll jump over here to the stuff that I found this year. Now, I was lucky enough to set a new record for myself for silvers. Um, last year I said 20, this year ended up with 23. So that was a good year. We'll jump over first though to the uh, the Wheaties that I carted here. I, I carted a, a number of different Wheaties. Um, 
I guess we didn't ask Poppy when we were over there which one of the coins was probably the most valuable that he found out of the year um, this year. Probably that 1875 Union head, I think. Okay. That, it's not the best of shape, but it's. Uh, probably it looks, right it, up as one of the more valuable. It looks ones. decent. Yep. So. I had a, a 1924D uh, wheat penny, and then that books out pretty decent in there, too. And I like to card the Wheaties if they, they read out in the book in the fine condition we're using the, uh, the uh, red book. United States coins uh, book there uh, for values and we just go off of what the, the fine condition value says in them and then had a number of Indian heads at 21 of those this year starting at uh, let's see here 1882 and working their way up and I'll just go down the row here you can see the the years on both sides there as we go down but 21 of those total we ended up with quite a few barbers here um, started at 1899, we got 1900, 06, 11, um, 14S, 14D, and a 12S. And then we go into the Mercury's, got a few of those too. 1917, a D and a plane, a 20, 24, 28, 36, 41S, and a 45. And then four Rosings even, uh, 48S. 51D, 57, and a 59D, and those are usually just worth whatever the silver value is. And then I have the, uh, the pile of miscellaneous Wheaties there. I also have a, a bag of coins there. The reason I have those bagged off separately, and obviously they go in this year's count, but we have a house we hope to revisit next year, so I, I hope to. Had bagged those up separately. I think we might find some goodies there when we yeah. go back. <laughs> um, got a few toy cars lined up there, and then kind of a valve or something. It's kind of neat mechanism in there, some miscellaneous junk rings, marble like Poppy said. Um, you said that one piece there is a hem weight, a hem weight to uh, keep the ladies dresses down back in the old days. And so just kind of some neat stuff there. So we turned out to have a really good year off of, oh, two more things. Yeah, I did have a uh, silver pin there and a gold wedding ring, my first gold ring find ever. So uh, I was pretty happy with that, and I didn't roll in the uh, V nickels and the other stuff, so let's go through that here real quick. I did end up with a V nickel on almost the last day. <laughs> Finally pulled one, so I met that goal. I had two war nickels that I found, um, two silver quarters, an 1895 Barber, and an SLQ and no date on that, so that would be 1920 or older, I believe, had the raised dates on them. So we don't know what year, but we know it's older than that. And then quite a few different tokens, uh, play monies, uh, Franklin D. Roosevelt play money, tax tokens, vending tokens, uh, Union Pacific token, Egyptian magic coin token, um, just uh, a whole bunch of different ones. The Odom Wiggins one was kind of cool there. It looks like a gear and goes into a slot machine. And then a uh, Cracker Jack mystery box uh, Franklin Pierce token there. So just a lot of neat things that we found there. And let's go around the front of the table here and we'll show you the junk. Like we said, we, we save the junk as we pull it out. And this side over here is just Poppy's junk alone, and you can see how much garbage <laughs> we keep out of the ground when we're digging. And so when we dig a coin, I mean, we probably dig four or five other signals Looks for like it. Every, <laughs> to every coin that we actually get. So you can take and multiply the number of coins that we've gotten and multiply that by three or four at least to get what we got. And this side over here is the ones that I pulled. I do have a, a three keys laying over there on the side and just a large pile of trash. And that is the trash that we pulled out of the places that we were detecting and we keep the trash. We don't put it back in the ground. I've run across places before public ground where people put trash back in the holes. That irritates me. Yeah. <laughs> um, they should keep the stuff out of there when they, they pull it out of there. So like I said, when we calculate that up, I added up all the coins that I pulled in, in tokens, well coins, and then you got to add the tokens to that. So I had just over 390 items that I kept. 
386 coins total, and then I have two, four, six, eight, ten tokens on top of that. So we're, we're just under 400 items that I kept. So if you multiplied that by four at least, yeah. four or five, and you're, you're talking a lot you know, of holes dug. Yeah, a lot of <laughs> holes dug. And, and you take what Poppy pulled out of there too, you got another. Oh, I got three and a quarter or something. Probably. Yeah, so so you're talking, you know, we, we kept, we dug thousands and thousands of holes this year to get what we got, and we keep a lot of trash out of the ground when we do it. But just a really awesome year, and, and looking forward to next year. We have some people that have said that uh, we got some spots to go to next year. So we're excited about that already. We're in the middle of winter here, but uh, we're raring to go already. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so there you go. There is a metal detecting year in review. Anything you want to add there, Bobby? Nope. Just hoping next year is good and the weather cooperates and uh, we can find some good properties yep. to detect on. I agree 100%. So this is Dan and Poppy with 3D Outdoors reminding you to get into the outdoors and enjoy everything it has to offer. If you like this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button at the bottom. See you next time.